Hey everyone, it's Jeff here with a vinyl update. Um, I'm going to split this video up into two parts. Um, the first part is going to be uh, me showing my Iron Maiden vinyl and a couple of gems from my CD collection. I'm doing this segment for Maggie. Um, if those of you who are familiar with Maggie's channel and saw her most recent two or three videos, she showed two VLC VCLTs that she got from Brandon. Maiden's Power Slave and Somewhere in Time. Those are great albums and uh, it was really cool to see the excitement on Maggie's face for, for getting her first you know, Maiden records and um, I've spoken with her and she's expressed through her videos uh, her desire to get more Maiden vinyl. Now Maiden vinyl is really really cool for, for two reasons. One uh, being the music is just incredible and uh, depending on what pressings you get, uh, they can sound really, really good. Actually far superior than the CD counterparts that are actually out on the market right now. Um, FYI, the, the remaster series, which in my opinion are complete garbage. Uh, and two, the artwork. Maiden is really, really known for the artwork, the packaging. They go all out, especially for the releases that happened you know, in the 80s. Um, especially right up into the last release, which was the picture disc live album that they did from the uh, Seven Sun tour, they put their ev I mean everything into the packaging. It's just amazing. So obviously they're fun vinyls to co to, to collect. So uh, I'm going to get started in showing what I have on vinyl. Um, this was actually really tricky because I had growing up I collected all the original presses of uh, Maiden Records and then sold them all. So I had to rebuild my collection. And uh, I've made a point of picking up uh, albums from uh, different presses from around the world. So we're going to start with the debut. This is the first Iron Maiden record with uh, Paul Viano on vocals. Uh, this is a classic. I mean, this, this is a fantastic record. Um, you know, Steve Harris has talked about how the band wasn't all that happy with the production. That was done pretty fast on a low budget, but you know, I have to say that's part of the charm of the album. It's a, it's a very, very raw sounding album. And um, I'll just show you this really, really quickly. This is on the Harvest label. This is a Canadian pressing. This is a first, first press. And the label, why I really like this is that the label is a Harvest label. And the, the record's in mint condition. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I think this is the only label that's a, just a generic yellow Harvest logo. All the other Maiden uh, records are, um, they've got their own customized uh, Maiden label, which I'll show you on the next record. Uh, next up is the reissue of the same album. This is the, this is from the Picture Disc series that came out, uh, I think last year. Uh, I, I, I think I showed this in a previous video, but um, they're, they're, they're really, really cool. It, in terms of the sound, the reason why I picked up the first two is because I think they sound the best. And then I'll show you the picture disc really quickly. Running fr from the Running Free single. That's just awesome. Really, really, really cool. You know, this is this is a great album. Uh, all the classics are there. Uh, a majority of the songs are still played live uh, to this day. And uh, it was nice to have the original and then the reissue that came out. Being that the first two are, are really some of my favorites. This is another Harvest label, uh, Killers. This is a Canadian press. This is their second album and last with Paul Diano. This is another really, really fantastic album. I have to say, if I had to pick a favorite, this would probably be it. Um, I just love the rawness of it. I love the production. This is where Martin Birch, the producer that pretty much stayed with them up until the 90s, this was his first production job with the band. And it really shows because the, the progress between the sound from the first album to this album is huge. And if you see interviews with Martin Birch, he actually talks about how he would have loved to have been called to do the first album. God only knows what that would have sounded like, but like I said, the charm of the first album is the rawness of the production, so who knows? It might not have been that great, but for this, it just worked. Great, great songs on here. Murders in the Rue Morgue, Another Life, Killers, Twilight Zone. Just, just awesome, awesome album. And to match that, I picked up 
the exact same thing, but the picture disc vinyl that was released. And by the way, the picture discs that I'm showing right now are European presses. Um, the European ones were the only ones with the sash here along the side, kind of like an OB strip. And that just gets open like that. And that's the back, and I'll show you the picture, picture disc itself because it's really, really, really nice. So that is, this is just awesome. I mean, they, they sound pretty good for picture discs, and the artwork is just awesome to get that. So I really, really, really enjoy having the first two, and then I stopped. I figured, you know what, I'm not going to waste the money getting the rest on picture discs when I'd rather track down original presses that, you know, cost a little bit on eBay. So the next one up after that is the Iron Maiden EP Made in Japan. This is um, a five song little EP that came out of a live show that they did in Japan um, on the Killers Tour, or, or yeah, on the Killers Tour <coughs> with Paul, Paul Viano on vocals. And it's just got Running Free, Remember Tomorrow, Wrathchild, Killers, Innocent Exile. This is another first Canadian press on the Harvest label, which they sound really, 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 really good. Now, I'm missing Number of the Beast. I have Number of the Beast on CD. I'll just show it quickly. I used to have it on vinyl, but it was one of the, you know, obviously I sold uh, the collection. So I have the remaster on CD, and I have, this is an original UK press. This, this was printed in the, uh, in the UK. But I don't have it on vinyl. I'm in the midst of looking on eBay to see if I can get a, a real good pressing so I can fill the gaps of the collection. Now the next one is probably, other than Killers, my number one favorite, which is Peace of Mind. And this I'm going to open up to show you because this is a first UK press, Utopia stamped in the dead wax. If you're going to get Peace of Mind on LP, this is the one you want to get. This, the, this is the original in absolutely flawless condition. This is the original gatefold. This is the original black inner sleeve that came with the album. And for us Canadians, and I think Americans as well, when we had the album, it was a single sleeve. The picture in here and the artwork on the other side was the information that made up the inner sleeve. But on the UK version, you got the black inner thick cardboard with the information in a gatefold. And it's on real, real, it's very, 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 very thin and got the cool label there. The album is mint, and like I said, it's a Utopia stamped first press, and it actually comes with the original advertisement or promo merchandise order form. And I thought that was really, really cool. When I bought this on, on eBay from a UK seller, he made no mention that this was in there, so you can imagine my surprise when I opened it up. Already happy with the quality, the condition, and then the inner sleeve. This is an amazing album. I think Where Eagles Dare is probably my all-time favorite Maiden song. Maggie, you, you definitely got to pick this one up. All right. Um, also have this on CD and um, the original press, the, the original Canadian press and the remaster series as well. Next up is Power Slave. This is an amazing album as well. Maggie has this one. This is a first uh, Canadian press. And uh, the label itself is a little bit different. Um, it's not the sand label that uh, you see on the UK and on the American version. This is a um, kind of like a rainbow capital uh, label. Great album. I mean, um, Power Slave, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, Ace is High, Two Minutes to Midnight. You cannot go wrong with this guy. Now, next up is one of my faves. This is the live album for the tour. I showed this in a previous video. This is a first uh, press. Uh, this is a pressing that came from Holland. It's got everything, the booklet, the inner sleeves, um, and the beautiful gatefold. Uh, the records just sound incredible. I have to say, I've pretty much heard every pressing from this album, and the Holland press is probably my favorite. I, I personally think it actually beats the UK press that I've heard. Um, it certainly beats the Canadian and the US. If, for those of you who can find uh, the Holland one at a good, reasonable rate, I really recommend picking it up. Beautiful, beautiful piece of vinyl. Okay, um, 
there is right after that is somewhere in time now this is a first US press on the um, It's a direct metal mastering stamper in the dead wax. This is a really, really good sounding uh, uh, record, actually. And um, this is a prime example of how they ruined the remaster, because the remaster on CD that came out, for those of you who you know, don't collect vinyl, just sounds absolutely horrible. And because it's one of my favorite albums um, from the band, I went ahead and got the UK version of the album, but also I still retained my original Canadian CD that I bought when it first came out on CD. I had it on cassette and vinyl before I sold my vinyl collection, so I've rebought it on vinyl, got the two pressings as well as the remaster uh, that I won't show was put away, but the remaster sounds absolutely horrible. It's very compressed, just there's no dynamics to it, but um, the UK CD sounds really, really good. Very, very good. Uh, next up would be Somewhere in Time. Uh, sorry, Seven Son of a Seven Son. Now, that's another one that I no longer have on vinyl. Used to have it on cassette. Still trying to find a really good um, condition one. I actually found one last week, but it didn't have the original inner sleeve, so I let it go. They were asking 20 bucks for it, and I figure at, for that price, if you're not going to get it complete as it was meant to be, then just leave it in the store, and that's what I did. But I still have my original first press Canadian pressing that I got when it first got issued on CD and it sounds absolutely great. So this will tide me over until I can find that vinyl. Uh, next one on vinyl is the No Prayer for a Dying. This album, wow, this is, well Adrian Smith has already left the band, this is the first album with uh, Yannick Gears that um, kind of came into the band by way of Bruce Dickinson who worked with Yannick on Bruce's solo albums. So, although I love Yannick's playing, and he's, you know, definitely contributes a lot to Maiden today because he's still in the band, but I miss Adrian. Adrian was probably my favorite member uh, from the band. I love his guitar playing, and just the, just the chemistry between Dave and, and uh, Adrian is magical. I mean, you listen to Live After Death, and you listen to that trading, those trading guitar solos, and you're like, wow, this is heaven. So, he's definitely missed from the album, but it's... For me, it's a great album. I, I love listening to it. It's, 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 it's seeing Iron Maiden get back to the roots a little bit more, um, back to the sound of the th first three or four albums, especially coming off two very heavy prog metal sounding records, Somewhere in Time and Seventh Son of the Seventh Son. So this is a nice return to form. And this is a uh, first UK press, and it sounds absolutely incredible. So I love that. And then that's it pretty much for the Made in Vinyl. I mean, other than um, the Made in England, which I've showed. I have a, a video just showing this and how it sounds, and I absolutely love this. Um, for those of you that want to see the inside of this, I, I recommend you check out that other video. I'm not going to go through that in this one, but um, this is a live show from 1988 in Birmingham on the uh, Seventh Son of the Seventh Son Tour, and it's a great sounding record for a picture disc uh, set. Uh, very happy to have it. Um, and I just remembered, the last one that I have on vinyl is a bootleg that I picked up on um, red vinyl, I believe. And this is called uh, Iron Maiden, Kings of Metal. And it's just a bootleg album that contains the um, Soundhouse Tape CP, which was basically the demo tape that uh, Maiden uh, recorded before they were even signed and before management came into the picture to kind of get attention and, and, and to kind of get known and get management. So, um, the, side two contains the uh, Soundhouse tapes plus Burning Ambition, which was the B-side to the seven inch running free single. And side one contains um, uh, live tracks uh, featuring Iron Maiden, Running Free, Transylvania, Sanctuary, uh, recorded the fourth, 14th of November 1979 on the Friday Rock Show. And then the last song is Wrathchild from a metal compilation from 1980 called Metal for Mothers. So this was really nice to have, and I think it's on red vinyl. And uh, it's great. The sound quality is really, really good, and it's really, really nice to have um, the Soundhouse tapes because I love Invasion. 
For those of you who aren't familiar with that song, check it out. It's very, very cool. Um, other than that, there's really not much else. Not on vinyl, I'm still in the process of collecting. Um, I need Number of the Beast, and I need Seventh Son, and then that's pretty much it. I've got my eyes on a couple of bootlegs that I've seen in a couple of Montreal stores, and um, might grab Fear of the Dark if it's not too expensive. But on CDs, I thought I would show something interesting. This is something I picked up a couple of months back in one of the stores. This is a Russian uh, CD pressing featuring the album No Prayer for the Dying. And at first when I saw it, I thought, oh, well, it must be the EP um, made in Japan. But it's not. It's actually, so I don't really know why that's there, but the collection or the single collection bonus part of the CD contains b-sides that were part of the singles that were released uh, on uh, Maiden songs from the 80s. So we have All In Your Mind, Kill Me Sassoir, I'm a Mover, Communication Breakdown, which is a Led Zeppelin cover. Um, I think a lot of these are covers actually. Uh, noting Donkey Blues, which um, I think is an instrumental if I'm not mistaken. Number of the Beast Live and The Prisoner Live. So I thought this was a cool little disc. Uh, I've never seen it before. And um, it's cool that it comes from Russia. And uh, so it's, it's a very nice piece to have in the collection. And um, there are other CD things that I have, obviously, like the Live and Real set, which is kind of like a, this is kind of like a hologram cover thing. And um, the rest are just my original CD pressings um, from Canada. And I'm glad I kept these because they sound great. And compared to the remasters, you know, and, and for those of you who don't have these, I recommend, you know, try eBay and try to get them secondhand because they're a lot, lot better than the uh, remaster counterparts. That's it. So uh, I'll definitely show you more, Maggie, once I pick up a little bit more uh, made in vinyl. But I hope that was uh, just gives you an idea of what's out there and, and um, some of the presses that I talked about that you might be interested in, in checking out. But by all means, I mean, if you come across something and they're all U.S. press, I say jump on it. Um, I don't know about where you live, but here, Made in Vinyl is not all that easy to, to come across. And, um, you know, a couple of my friends that work in these stores tell me that, you know, by the time they hit the bins, they're gone within a day or two. Um, they just don't hang around. So by the time someone like me gets to the store, they're gone. So a lot of the maiden stuff I actually found online, just taking my time going through eBay and you know keeping your fingers crossed that the prices don't go too high. So uh, that's it for the maiden stuff. I thought I would show some albums that I picked up today. I just made a contact, uh, funny enough, off eBay of a gentleman that lives in the, in the same city that I live in and works not too far from my house. So we actually made arrangements to meet today and uh, I got four beautiful mint records off of him. One of which is playing in the background, which is Quiet Riot's Condition Critical album. This is something I used to have on uh, vinyl as a kid, and I, I currently have it on CD. This takes me right back to being a teenager when this album came out. Totally love this album. It's got the inner sleeve. This is a gentleman that is selling his collection, so everything's mint, and everything I picked up today is a promo stamp. So very, very, very happy about that. Quiet Riot, you know, Condition Critical, great album. It's my favorite. Uh, I like it even better than Mental Health. I'm, I'm, I'm not, other than the two singles off Mental Health, it's not an album that I, I like all that much. Next one up is Van Halen's 5150. This is a first press promo stamp right there. Again, mint condition. Original inner. So it was, uh, this is actually an album I needed for the collection, so I was very, very, very happy that uh, I got that and looking forward to spinning that when this record's done. Next one up is something I'm very excited about because when this album came out, okay, uh, I loved it instantly, instantly. And I had it on vinyl, sold it, had it on cassette, had it on CD. I still have the original first pressing, the Canadian uh, edition of this album. And it's been something I've been wanting to find on vinyl for a long time. I've never found it in the stores, and typically they can be a little pricey on eBay, especially when you consider shipping. 
This gentleman had a mint copy that he was selling from his personal collection, and I couldn't believe it when he pulled this out of the bag today. David Lee Roth's debut solo album, Eat Him and Smile. Amazing, amazing album. It's another, another promo stamp. This album, Steve Vai on guitar, Greg Bessonette on drums, Billy Sheehan on bass, and Mr. David Lee Roth on vocals. If, 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 you, if I had to grab some Desert Island discs very fast, this would definitely be one of them. It's a classic. Uh, original Inner. I mean, Steve Vai's work, Billy's work on bass. The songs are huge. Shy Boy, Yankee Rose, Going Crazy, uh, Ladies Night in Buffalo. For those of you who do not have this, I say get out there and hunt this down. It's a welcome addition to my collection. Been wanting that for a while. And the last is a band that um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of, you know, uh, and I've never had this on vinyl, never had it on CD, had it on cassette, that's long gone, and that's Dawkin, Beast from the East, double vinyl, promo stamp, first press, absolutely mint. I mean, it, when I pulled out the records to look at them, they're like brand new, brand, brand new. So I'm actually looking forward to giving this a spin. I mean, it's just, just beautiful. Look at that. Just, just brand, brand new. Great live album. George Lynch is one of my all-time favorite guitar players, and I love Dokken. I love the, the music. I love the songs. And um, they're also a great live band, so I'm really looking forward to uh, spinning that. So um, I guess that's it. You know, um, There's a couple of other things I was thinking of showing uh, from my collection. You know... I realize that all my videos have been just the new stuff that I've been buying, but uh, I haven't really gotten around to showing my collection. Like I want to show my Black Sabbath collection. I want to show the video, the vinyls that I already had in the collection before I started making YouTube videos. So um, I figured this is a great start for Iron Maiden, and I wanted to start with Maiden first for Maggie. Um, her video really inspired me to show the rest of that because um, I saw the excitement. And um, she seems to really be getting into Maiden, and um, that makes me really happy because I'm a huge Maiden fanatic, and um, it's cool to see people, you know, starting and getting into Maiden. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoy this update. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and um, we'll uh, catch up with you soon, BC. Bye. Talk to you later.